Hi, I'm Rebecca Gordon. I'm Sylvia Gordon. And today we're gonna to talk about what is your plan for this AEP for the Part B nightmare. Why is it a nightmare? Really? <laughs> because prices are I, going to double and I hear firework. I hear fireworks and explosions, just thinking about Part D. Everybody's going to wanna to shop their drug plan. So in a normal year, 16% of people shop. Unless somebody gets a new drug, most people are like, I'm good. A couple i I'm good. Yeah. This year, everybody's going to shop because their premiums are going to explode because the Inflation Reduction Act Amen. is lowering the drug cap to 2000 Lowering it by a total of $6,000. You know, just a side note, I was wondering this the other night, why couldn't they have stair-stepped this reduction instead of going 8000 to 2000 Election year, bum, bum, I mean, bum, bum, bum. Go to election year. Go to 5,000. So the administration is talking nonstop about how they are saving retirees, Medicare recipients, money on their drugs starting in 2025 due to the Inflation Reduction Act. And every time I'm like, yeah, they're going to save a few people. Just, it's a Just small a percent people. of, of this, yeah, it was this like 400,000 people in, in the state of Texas, 400,000. And they were, uh, the other millions of people will be paying astronomically more. Yep. Especially the people that only take a couple cheap drugs. Right. So a lot of agents. They're going to get out. They're just like, I'm not going to do Part D. For sure. Right. We, well, we don't even know if Part D carriers are going to pay commissions. Right. So if they're trying to recoup all this money that the carriers are losing, they're gonna, you know, the deductible goes to 590. They can raise the copays. They can restrict their formulas. There's not a lever, a lot of levers they can use. Mm -hmm. So they could probably use agent commission as a lever to recoup some money. We don't know yet because they're holding the first looks later than we've ever held them. So we haven't seen them, but that is, I would say, a great educated guess that commissions are probably gonna be lower. Even if the commission remained the same and every carrier paid $100, do you want to write Part D this year? Am I getting paid commission? If you get paid $100, do you want to write it this year? That's right. the question most agents have to, to answer. And their answer is... Maybe. Most people's answer is no. Probably no. They don't have time. Yeah. It's going to be too much movement for not a lot of a payment. If you have to shop all your Medicare Advantage... Yeah. Right, right, right. Where do you have time? So what's the solution? To do your Part D, your standalone Part Ds on your MedSup clients. And a lot of MedSup client, or med sub agents never did Part D anyway. They right. always send them to Healthcare. Med Medicare.gov. Yeah. And let them shop their own. And that's smart. So that's kind of, that's kind of the main idea of today's episode is that might be something you need to start educating your clients on how to let them do it themselves. How to do it step by step in your newsletter, in your videos, whatever you, however you outreach to your clients. All right. And some agents do some assist. Like they run their drugs and they say, I want you to enroll in this well care plan, blah, blah, blah. And here, go to Medicare.gov and do it. So some agents are a little hands on. A lot of agents are, I don't have time for it at right. all. All right. So you have to figure out a strategy now for your Part D nightmare. What you are going to do. How many standalone Part D clients do you have? Because you have to help your Advantage clients on their Part D. You're, but your standalone Part Ds, that's, that's something you could clear off your plate, especially if you're not getting paid. Yeah. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow. Right. So assess your book of business. Get your plan. AEP is quickly approaching. Stay tuned. We'll have more in upcoming episodes. Good selling, folks.